In July 2015, an international children's art festival was held in the northern Chinese city of Tianjin. From 60 countries and regions, children's art troupes came and bought almost 70 theatrical performances. In their own way, children from home and overseas expressed their passion for art. Avalon Coast Art Troupe came to China for the first time. They brought African drum performance. Circus show from Sweden was so funny that the audience kept on laughing. The Hope performer is not only beautiful but also with superb skill. The audience broke into loud cheers. They were they were very good. Yeah, they were clapping and uh, yeah. screaming. Of course, it's awesome. they were really good. The in Sweden, in Sweden, many people are like. Mm. Not just the foreign children, Chinese kids showed no weakness. They sang Beijing opera experts, receiving enthusiastic applause from foreign audience. Amazing to watch! They were wonderful. You know, it's great to see different countries, you know, sort of express their culture in front of the whole world and. China, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's so great. <laughs> There was a Chinese kung fu show which was quite eye-catching in the festival. Three young performers are all from the UK. My name is Majahid and I'm 14 years old. I've been training seven. I'm Janaid and I'm eight years old. My name is Christina. I'm nine years old. They always have different things to do with. They were the first enlightened by the teacher from China, who founded a wushu club while he was living in the UK. This teacher has been committed to the work of spreading Chinese martial arts. Since the day the club was set up, there have been a number of British schools inviting us to teach wushu in PE class. I suppose we are the first and the only club that brought Chinese martial arts to British physical education class. Loving wushu and then fell in love with China, the three kung fu performers also brought their parents to the festival to experience Chinese culture together. They enjoyed very much having to try the movable type printing, one of the four great inventions of China. But I like it, but it just came out rubbish. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. No. I like it. I'm gonna frame it. It's really I mean, the best, <laughs> I have to say. It's from the Tang Dynasty. It says Tang. Tang, yeah, Tang Dynasty. They also learned paper cutting, the traditional Chinese manual arts. Junaid was the first one to finish his work, followed by his mother, who made a masterpiece. Like it, the process. Um, I think the process is really good. For um, when I go back home, I can copy the skill. Can, can I do this again? Definitely. Whoa! I guess you can. Wow. Proud of me. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> The last experiencing activity is to draw traditional Chinese painting. With brushes and their creativity, children, moms, and dads drew out China's national treasure, panda. Where there is martial art or quintessence, by the ways of Chinese symbols, the children have gained more understanding about Chinese culture. During the art festival, in addition to the theatrical performance, the organizer also prepared summer camp activity for the kids not performing that day. Thank you for everything. You. We have a very good time. They make us to have a good time. The week-long art festival is a multi-cross-culture international event. 
more than 2,000 children around the world had opportunity to know each other's culture, sharing beautiful time with great joy and happiness together. TJTV World.